This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related, and we're here to take a first look at Lost Words Beyond the Page. But before giving you my first impressions and thoughts on the game, I actually want to do a quick overview to give you a good idea of what you can expect out of this title. Lost Words Beyond the Page is a 2D narrative adventure game with a heavy emphasis on puzzle solving through a very unique game mechanic. The game itself takes place in between the pages of a diary and a fantasy world. As for the story, well it's written by none other than Rihanna Prochet, someone who has a ton of experience on the field and has written the stories for Heavenly Sword, Mirror's Edge, Tomb Raider, among many other titles. That said, the story for Lost Words is incredibly deep, and I really don't want to spoil any of it, so I'll only be showing you early parts of the game in this video. Now I will talk just a little bit about the story here, but don't worry I'm not going to mention anything that you wouldn't have known through watching the game trailers that happened to come out before the release of the game. The story follows a young girl writing in her diary and making a fantasy story for her ill grandmother. This young girl's name is Izzy and the fantasy world she's building is named Historia. And it's heavily influenced by the current events going on in her life, and when her grandmother's health takes a turn for the worst, as you can imagine, that story gets darker but also much more meaningful. This story revolves around a young girl and how she copes with grief and loss. It's a very meaningful message but also a powerful one. And that's where I'll stop. It's a very strong story, and I have to say that I'm sure many people out there are going to be able to relate to it on a very personal level. The power of words is something that I think gets undersold quite a lot in life, and not only did this game try and make it a focal point of their story, but it's a very core mechanic to the gameplay. Speaking of which, that gameplay seems to be pretty forgiving. It seems like they designed this game to be playable by as many people as possible, and I can totally see non-gamers getting into it. The platforming itself is pretty traditional, you can move left, right, jump, crawl, but you also have the addition of word magic and that's where the gameplay takes a more interesting twist. As you progress through the game, you'll be collecting words that will help you and assist you in progressing through the storyline and solve issues that are standing right in front of you. For example, if something's broken like a bridge, you will therefore use the word repair and fix it so you can cross the gap. Some of these words will stay with you and throughout your journey, but some of them may be fleeting and just be a one-use case scenario. Once again, I just want to reiterate, the gameplay here doesn't seem very challenging, but I'm pretty sure that's not the point, because the main emphasis here is on the narrative and I have to say, it's super, super powerful. If anything, that gameplay really puts more of a focus on the narrative as it's being read out to you like a storybook as you progress through the game. Not only that, but there will be sections in the game where you do have a choice to affect the story in little bits of ways. For example, you'll get to choose between a few options for the color of the robe the main character uses in the fantasy world. And while I do have to say that so far none of these choices seem to have a major impact, I will say that it drew me closer to the character itself and the storyline. And now, let me just talk a little bit about my thoughts on the story, because it really is quite emotional and a tearjerker. It's already brought a few out of me, and I'm sure it'll bring many more as I play through it. This is mainly due to the fantastic writing, voice acting, and music that the game has. It's super easy to relate to this storyline, and I'm sure many will. It brought back memories of my own, and it does a fantastic job at capturing those thoughts. I really can't emphasize this enough, but if you're a fan of narrative driven games, do yourself a favor and go pick this up because I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. Story aside, I have to give huge props to the art style of this game as well, and the sound design. As I stated just a bit ago, the voice acting is top notch and they did a fantastic job with the main character's voice. The musical score is also really great. Once the emotional aspects of the game kick in, you'll really notice it, and I have to give them huge credit for this. So overall, I definitely think the game is worth your time, and I think you should check it out if you like narrative games. That said, it's not for everyone. If you're looking for a more traditional game or something that poses more of a challenge, this probably isn't targeted for you. That said, it's a standout indie game for me, and I'm sure many people will agree. This game has all the makings of something that's going to really resonate with many people, and I'm sure it'll get recognized for it. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be heading back into the game to finish up the story because I'm very curious at what happens next. 
But if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video message is going to be a simple question. If you picked up Lost Words, then what are your thoughts on the story so far? Be sure to keep it spoiler free for those who haven't played it, but I look forward to reading your reactions. As always, thank you for watching, this has been Generation Stadia giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related. The Gen S community is over 3,600 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.